Hi everyone and welcome back. So the another interesting topic we are talking about is Nest JS workspaces. You might have used NX, Bit, Larna, all these different monorepo tools. But out of the box, Nest JS also provides a lightweight monorepo solution, which helps you to segregate the different applications into the different folders and where you de where the dependencies can be shared, like non modules will be shared. Even you can add a libraries, shared libraries on top of it. So let, let's explore because this is really very important topic. And maybe in future projects, you can just use these, uh, this Nest.js workspace and lightweight monorepo for building the application where you can segregate the multiple repository, multiple applications, auth service, billing service, and multiple services together inside this lightweight monorepo. Okay, let's get started. So first, first what we will do is we will install the Nest CLI because Nest CLI is something which we will use to create the applications. So now we can just create a simple repo, a simple application. Nest new auth app. Choose the options. Okay, I will choose npm, and this is my repository. This is how it looks like. So this is a normal Nest JS application which contains the source, test, uh, package JSON, and here it is like Bootstrap. Of a simple application which ha contains a simple controller service and package JSON where all the dependencies are there a build configurations and you can see the node module with all everything it's like a simple uh, nest JS application so what we want to do on top of that we wanted to create uh, another application let's say because we are talking about monorepo solution that means so if we expand a particular folder and see what it contains it contains the whole uh, setup. I mean, there is a source and it contains the whole main.ts controller services of user app. And similarly, there is an auth app. Both contains their own main.ts file. That means they are they exist as a two different separate nests. Simple service. It can be HTTP service or whatever you consider. This is the build configuration they are and they are extending the ps config which is available at the root. And this is output directory inside a dist app user app. So if you want to rename, let's say because we created these folders, user app and author, but later if you want to rename these, then you have to rename from each and every place because there are many places where the user app is configured. In the nest CLI.json, there it is talking about okay where the project is, where the app application is located, where is the source root, right? So you need to rename it every possible uh, occurrence to rename the folder structure or while creating the service you can just take care of the naming convention but this is how you can manage if you want to change it okay so I, ha I have renamed the root package json this is the root package json which is going to bootstrap two different individual applications now i mean in this lightweight monorepo we don't see a solution where we can run both these applications together i mean I've, i just need to do npm run start dev and it starts both the user app and author so to manage that we just need to do a simple tweak how we can do it let's uh, take a look on to that it has only one single build configuration some dependencies and dev dependencies now how can we play with these npm scripts so that you should be able to bootstrap the both the applications like starting or stopping so the most important aspect of this whole setup is nest serialization i mean it contains lots of information right compiler options if you see here, the root root application is apps auth app and the project, there are two projects I have added, user app and auth app. Now what will happen when you do npm run build in this nest.js monorepo? It is going to build this root application which is auth app. I mean it is, it doesn't care how many applications you have added because the root application is auth app, the first application which you have created. I mean, we cannot change this behavior, but we need to tweak our package JSON script so that we can take care of building both these applications, user app and auth app. What will happen is it will just try to build that particular root folder, root application, which is auth app. Or if you try to do npm run start dev, it will be starting only auth application. If you see the build inside the dist folder, you will be able to see the output. And inside dist, you see only auth application because it is building only one application. So here, if you just try to do npm run start, it will be starting only one application, which is 
uh, auth app right so let's change this behavior using our package json so we can just use uh, npm scripts and concurrently we should be able to start and build both the both the application user app and auth app so here we are going to create a two npm script start dev so start dev for one application start dev for another application and you can watch these apps you just need to specify application name here like user app or auth app auth app is uh, being start by default so we just need to worry about user app okay we'll just copy this thing and we can use concurrently because we need to run both these commands concurrently together okay so i will just install that using package json npm install minus minus save concurrently so once the concurrently module is done we can just uh, start both these together so this is what a simple command looks like concurrently and we have two different commands here and concurrently some colors and npm dev so it is going to check the prefix dev and there are two npm script with the dev prefix dev auth and dev user so it should be able to just start both the application so when you try to do npm run start dev it will be starting the user app and auth app together another thing is you because both the applications might be using the same port so you can change the port in the main.ts no errors found both the applications are up and running so you can just uh, do the same task if you have multiple application more than two you can do the same set of script now we can also create a library so till now we just have a simple application i have assigned two different port 3011 or 3010 you just need to change the port because both cannot run on the same port another thing is you can just also create a library nest generate library external and it will just create the library for us so i created this library in the wrong folder so i need to just revert this we need to move the library inside our nest monorepo so if you see the library folder structure it is also same kind of same thing it has its own ts config and source folder inside source folder you can actually add your external module external service now what is library library is nothing but everything which you are using externally like let's say i can create a database module Kafka module, RabbitMQ module, uh, AWS S3 module, those all are external library. And, and now the important thing is how can we use these library into our application code? So here I just generated this uh, library again because I need to generate it inside a nest.js monorepo. Now everything looks fine. We have a libs external and I can see external module, external service. Now the next part is how can we use this library external service external module into our application code i mean there are two application user app and auth app so i'm just going to write a simple method here and then i will be using this particular method i will be calling this particular method in one of my service user app or auth app so it can be a simple message external service this external service is already a part of external module right so what we need to do like if i want to use this service you will import the external module right so external module you can add inside one of your application here i have app module i can just add this in the import declaration okay external module import it they will be import prefixed with app okay now i can use the external service i can inject the external service inside app service i can just write a constructor private read only service external service this is called dependency injection of external service inside this service okay so here i got external service and then in these particular methods i can just call return this dot service dot particular method get hello so this is how we can add or we can integrate any external library into your service i mean this is how we do even if we write a single application right now i'm able to call this now user app also you can actually do the same thing if you want to add this is running on 3011 this is running on 3000 so we should be good with the port wise we can start the application so here i can see i'm doing curl localhost and it is giving me high from library so how that is happening it is actually reading this it is actually calling the external service from the external module and getting this message from there 
so this is how this whole ecosystem work it's like actually a lightweight mono repo solution where you can create external libraries create multiple applications and nest cli will manage these applications in its own way now what are the pros and cons i mean why should i use this instead of nx learn i mean nobody is forcing you if you are building an application which contains a multiple sub modules you can actually probably divide them as a library divide them as a application the important part is here we are not creating multiple node modules copy no some kind of a sublinking here it has a one dedicated node modules which is shared among all the different services and it can be deployed i mean the ci cd in the ci ci pipeline it can be deployed as a single application and then you can allocate like even if i am just deploying this as a serverless lambda or server based there is a respective folders you can manage all those things using root packages now don't expect that all kind of utilities which nx or uh, bit or these the these mono repo solutions provide but if you want to do something quick i think nasus workspaces are really nice solution for managing lots of uh, libraries and lots of services together so instead of growing the large code base where you have multiple teams each teams can dedicate themselves to into a respective application and you can manage the shared library inside a libs folder so i really like this concept and going forward i'm going to use this so next uh, we are going to work with a kafka and nesses microservices we are where we are going to create api gateway and the billing service what i will do is i'm going to use this particular feature of nesses workspaces and we are going to build a small new application inside it